so understanding remember we talked at the beginning about how uh, how to how to get out of the side mount and stuff like that and don't get there you need to understand how you're getting there too because maybe just keep getting thrown and and land on side mount so the problem is not the guard that means you probably need to work on the takedowns but the point is getting out of the side mount from from the guard so the key point is understand the source of the problem it'd be the same i'm trying to put a band-aid on the top of my wound and be expecting to to get better it will not solve the problem so make sure that it takes time of course this is not night or day you'll be able to to be that analytical but i i, I enjoy studying jujitsu especially tournaments and i like to watch the boring parts the one that nobody's watching all the grit fighting all those little things because i know my students don't ask me a lot of what ifs because i try to cover everything possible of reactions that the your opponent might might have so it, regardless whatever whatever guard you try to play try to break down the key points as i mentioned schools have different systems different um, uh, instructors have different approaches but whatever guard you're trying to play, let's say, just real quick, if you're playing a Belhiva, people have different ways to, to approach from, from Belhiva, right? And they're standing, and you need to understand that as soon as you get here, you know, if I don't have grip, and I'm like doing this, you know, trying to sweep, you know, it's just all over the place, you're not gonna get anything done. So before you attack, you gotta be ready to defend yourself. You got to here, stand up real quick. And whatever approach you use, some people grab the ankle, some people grab the pants, some people grab the collar, some stay here, some stay with the foot up, some go to the belt. But whatever your system is, as long as you have all key points working in, when you have all the four key points, make sure to have the right keys, because if you have four wrong keys, it will not help you in anything. So make sure that whatever system you're trying to use is with sleeve or with this, it's kind of like, okay, get to where you want to be, like, okay, now I'm ready to attack to start going to whatever position you want to go. Or the same thing with, let's say, a spider guard. You want to play with a lasso, where do you want to keep this one straight? And you need to decide what side I'm going to be playing. And am I flat? Am I to the right? You start analyzing how your opponent is positioned itself. Like, if I'm switching this way and is leaning to with this leg, Maybe you lead to some types of attacks, or the, go the other one. Might go to a different side. You just need to try to break down the best way possible. Because as soon as you, you get to a position that, let's say, just get some good solid grips, good posture, everything, and you notice that someone is shutting you down well, and like, man, I don't think I, you know, I can't really break grips. I can't really get much. Like, you know what? Maybe it's time to, uh, to start playing something else and playing a different type of guard. So every guard. It's, it's the system itself, and you need to understand all the ways in and out. And that's why you see more and more people being more analytical. And like 50-50, a lot of people I criticize. I think, it's a, I think it's a good guard, it's effective. You can you use to stall, absolutely. But if you don't understand the system, you get played. Whether it's a competition, yeah, people play advantage of whatever, people can complain. But at the end, it's a game, and people try to win. So you need to understand everything possible, all the ways in and out, different ways that the defense or uh, your opponent will try to, to attack and try to sh shut your game down and slow down your attacks. And you gotta be ready to, to really face all kinds of situations and be able to just audible, do go for some, just do some, just play a different formation when you have a chance. Hey, my name is Gustavo Danzas, I'm the president of Nova Union USA, and I'm visiting the Nova Union HQ at Upper and Rio, and you're watching Jets TV.